keep learning about it. <sighs> All right, I'm not sure enough to watch this kid. Okay. Oh, yeah, don't tell us. All right. <laughs> <laughs> a couple of months ago, we took a very big adventure. This water we just picked up two, three, four, five, about five mm -hmm. liters of water. Yeah. Because tomorrow we're going to hike Volcano Ate Acatenango. It's supposed to be one of the highest volcano in Central America. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to be a very tough hike. About six hours up, and we're actually gonna stay there overnight and come back. The day after in the morning and we were supposed to do, we're supposed to go to see Vulcan Volcan Fuego which is actually active right now so we gotta pack because we're leaving early tomorrow morning I'm so exhausted already we, yeah. ha we already have like 30,000 steps today so yeah. got more hiking tomorrow so way more hiking nice tomorrow. lots of sleep tonight um, but we will see you then so we made a last-minute decision um, and we booked uh, this tour through like a tour company. Uh, we got on the bus and we headed to Volcan Acatenango. It's a little bad. Alright <laughs> right, guys, we are five minutes into our hike to Volcan Acatenango. We're at 8,000 feet starting and we're supposed to be hiking for five or six hours is just the base camp. Yep, then we're gonna sleep overnight. Yeah. See the volcano, and then we will descend tomorrow morning. Yeah, and we got a whole <laughs> backpack here packed. Our very first backpacking excursion. Yeah. Overnight, overnight, too. overnight backpacking excursion. <sighs> and when we started the hike, we did not know what we were getting ourselves into. <sighs> I'm so exhausted already. This. I know. I was about to say this is quite the start. Yeah. Like right off the bat, the elevation was just crazy. It was like, I felt like we were climbing up 90 degrees. Yeah, it was immediately like uphill. It was immediately dusty. I'm most worried about inhaling all this dust right now. Yeah. And we were sweaty. Even like 30 minutes in, we were dying. First off, we are hurting. <sighs> and we had a good amount of uh, luggage that we carried. By luggage, it was just mostly water. How many? I think we took like five liters of water. Five yeah, liters of water. Five or six. Five or six. Yeah. Yeah. So it, it, we knew it was gonna be a five. We expected it to be a five-hour hike. We thought it would be a hike, not like an uphill. Like yeah. A fully uphill adventure <laughs> we are one hour into our hike we are 1300 feet into our elevation how do you feel baby i feel dirty you feel dirty i feel She's like dusty yeah and sweaty okay so that mix is really really working for me yeah <laughs> dusty sweaty mix how's your legs they're fine my legs are fine. We have about five hours, five more hours left. How do you feel? I was not excited for five more hours of this. Mm -hmm. What about you? <laughs> I feel good, good. I think the first half an hour was the worst. But yeah. yeah. The muscles warming up. But yeah, the first half an hour got really tight, but not better. Oh, dang. Look at that. We're up among the clouds. Crazy. You know what we should have done? What? That. Yeah. We should have done On the mirror. that. What were we thinking? <sighs> so it's lunch break. We're at a total of about uh, about 11,000 11, feet elevation and climbed about 3,000 elevation. So yeah, 
How do you feel? It was it's exhausting been, hike. Yeah, yeah. It's been toughest hike. Yeah, it's I'll been do, tough. Yeah, I'll do the sickness is kicking in a little first, bit. Yeah, I'll do sickness. I feel like a little lightheaded maybe. Um, I can't tell just like the exercise. Like we've been going uphill for like two hours yeah. and like n- basically no flat. I'd say we went. Yeah, we did three thousand like, feet in two hours. Yeah, I would say we did maybe like fifty feet if that of like flat surface. We do have a lovely burrito for lunch, which I'm very excited about. I can't even like hold the camera steady. Luckily it's on a gimbal so you can't feel my hands, you can't see my hands shaking. But we get to eat now and then we heard that it's one more hour up, steep, and then one hour of like semi-flat, thank goodness, and then... That's the base camp. Base camp. So for now we will enjoy our burrito lunch. Adio. See you soon. How you doing, baby? How you doing? Much better. Is it the best burrito you ever had? Yeah. Let's rock and roll. Um, so the hike up was like difficult and long, um, but we eventually we were very happy to make it to the top. Okay, Pauline, how do you feel? This is our new friend oh, yeah. that we met on the tour. How do you feel now that we're at the, I think this means, you know what Camino means? Um, end of the, end of the way. Fin, fin del Camino. It's like end of the way. It's so nice to say hi to you guys. End of the way. <laughs> and we made it to where we can see a beautiful view. Yeah. Oh, we're sweaty. Yeah. We're gross. But we made it. We did. Oh. Yes, we did. It's our first look at Fuego Fuego. Fuego, Fuego, Fuego. The last like hour of our hike from ending of like the hike up to the base camp uh, was gorgeous. We got to see like Volcan Fuego all the way. Um, there was like the Guatemalan skyline. Um, so that like last hour of the hike to base camp was really nice. There she blows. All right, we made it to the base. Camp. Base camp. Fuego yeah. is behind us. Mm-hmm. And we got another volcano over there, Volcan Volcan Pacaya. No, that's Agua, I think. Oh, that right? was Agua? Pacaya? Yeah. Is you guess to be right? Very good She's gonna have to say yeah. right People again. Opening their bags like, Pauline, is this is this Agua? That that this German. one? Yes. Oh, oh, who was right? In your face. I thought it was Pacaya, but... But he was wrong. Say it, say it. I was wrong. I was wrong. She's right as usual. <laughs> Crazy. Yeah, I know. Okay, so here's the erupting volcano. And here's where we're sleeping tonight. <laughs> Very close <Contact>. proximity. <laughs> so we made it to the top. We're like... We can, let's, we can keep going, we can keep going. We did this, we can do more. So we made a decision, in addition to hiking Volcan Akatenango from Volcan Akatenango, we were like, all right, let's get close to the volcano. Let's go to Volcan Fuego. <sighs> wow. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. So now we are on our way right, this, to go this. Oh my gosh, all of that going up. Now we have to go down and then back up. Maybe. But we're going down to go see Fuego a little bit closer. Maybe it was like the cardio endorphins or like the allure of seeing Fuego up close, but that was a very brave decision after having hiked so much to then go, we had to hike down and then back up. And now we're working our way up to try and make it up to Volcan Fuego to get closer to the lava. 
be right next to the eruption. And for sunset. And for sunset as well. Oh, so it's not a complete, down. yeah. But now we have to go, go back, back up. up. Uh, it's a long uh, way up. Uh, my head hurts, my body hurts. Right, yeah. I'm a little bit regretting it. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not. A, I'm a lot regretting going on this. It's a nice view, though. Additional hike. So I think it was definitely the hardest thing we've ever done, like as a couple, you know, both of us together. Yeah. It was definitely the hardest thing physically that I've ever done individually, like personally. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Fuck, I regret doing this. Mm -hmm. I don't care how nice it looks. Oh look, look, look. Oh, oh shit. Look. Oh dang. Never oh. mind. I don't regret it. Oh. I don't regret a thing. Oh, so cold, I'm so cold. I wanna go, come here, come here. Oh my God. Never again. Yeah, this is probably the, this is probably the hardest hike we've done. <laughs> Volcan Acatetango to Volcan Fuego. You gonna say something? I hope this view is worth it. <laughs> My head hurts. Uh, uh, I've been doing so much water. Oh wait, there's some more. I wanna go up here. Oh wait, there's right there. Yeah. There we can go. Let's go. Come on, let's go see the sun. This hike is not for the faint of heart. We're at the the top of the world. Very cold, so. I can't feel my legs anymore. Everything hurts. My head, my legs, my body. Well, you know what? Cue, beautiful music slash sunset montage. No. Wake up, wake up. Wake up, sunset. Sunset on both sides. Oh, golden hour. It is certainly cold, but we are on top of the world. Yes. Oh, so good to have made it. But uh, so exhausting. I cannot believe we have to go back up. Uh, go back down and go back up. You uh -huh. uh, good? Yeah, I'll be okay. Yeah. Wow. There's some lava. Oh my gosh. The hike down, you know, at this point the sun had set, it was dark. Then that was really a dusty hike um, because everybody was kind of, everybody was hiking very close because we didn't obviously want to lose one another. Um, and then the volcanic ash was like really on the path, um, like really covering the path. So everybody was just kind of kicking up this dirt and dust. Um, but what was nice was that we kind of got some uh, shots of Fuego, you know, as we walked back, it erupts every, what, 15 to 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. um, so that was really nice, almost like an interruption to our hike on the way back because the wonderful, those like big eruptions, you know, we got to stop and watch for a while. The cool thing about post sunset, once it gets dark, <clears throat> when you look at Vulcan Fuego erupting, you can really see the really beautiful colors of the lava the magma when it explodes. I feel very lucky to have uh, gotten the chance to witness. Dang, oh my gosh. Holy crap. Yo. Wow. That's a lot of lava. <sighs> yeah, Let's see. Oh, oh my gosh. Dang, oh, oh my, my gosh. gosh. Holy Jesus. crap. Yo. Wow. 
That's a lot of lava. <sighs> okay, so we get back to base camp um, that night. I don't remember what time it was. Everybody else was like eating dinner. I think it was maybe like nine or 10 at night. Um, we were both, Sabal especially was super sick. Um, like very much feeling the effects of altitude sickness. I wasn't feeling, you know, that bad. Um, but we ended up, you know, going to bed. We decided not to summit the next morning, which actually really worked out for us. Um, and we got to watch this gorgeous sunrise from our base camp. We're up the next morning at 5.45 to see the sunrise. Sunrise and a beautiful boy. <laughs> so sleepy. Close the door. Okay. Let's get back to sleep. Okay. <sighs> yeah. Sleeping in this tight. We got six people sleeping in this cabin, six right? Six people right here. Yeah, resorts so went out. The view is just. Absolutely beautiful. Mm -hmm. But luckily six people kept us warm. Yeah. But we were all in here. Mm hmm So cool. A little cold. I warmed up though. Mm hmm Luckily. Mm -hmm. This is breakfast. Egg sandwich. We did not eat dinner last night due to feeling a little nauseous. <laughs> So right now we're descending, starting to descend from Akatenango hike. Oh boy, what a hike that was. That was insane. The hardest hike that I've ever, ever yeah, done in my life. Absolutely. It's probably the hardest I'll ever do. Yeah. So many crazy stories. And let's not forget the volcano was the only thing that exploded last night. Oh my God. <laughs> last night. So last night, yeah, I had a bit of nausea and one of our like tent mates had locked the door behind him, like from the outside. And so I woke up, you know, not feeling well and I just had to go, but the door was locked. So I ended up throwing up in the, in the plastic bag that we brought our lunch in. Oh, that was yeah. so terrible. I cannot believe we went uphill for like four hours. And then we took a 40 minute break and we went uphill again for three hours. It was, well, downhill and then uphill for another hour. It was, I can't believe our bodies did that. No more hiking for like another, until next year, I think. The descent was really nice. Yeah, <laughs> compared I was, I was... to Compared to the ascent, going down was awesome but it, it was definitely more slippery than we thought it was going yeah, to be it felt, it, it felt good but it felt good to descend but it was a very brutal dis descent as it was well dangerous yeah oh. Oh. can't believe we're reaching the bottom now there's so many rocks in my shoes <sighs> after a long and grueling grueling hike a beautiful. Mm. <laughs> Is that the best food you ever tasted? We did it! <laughs> we are the champions! I can't feel my legs anymore, but <laughs> yeah. But we, we did, did it. it! We did it! Oh. I'm sweaty. We have officially made it down. I can't believe we did it. I know. I know, Pauline. Oh my gosh. I feel my feet hurt a lot. My legs hurt a little bit. Now we have to return all our things. Overall, it was really cool to see ourselves um, to push ourselves physically, mentally, um, you know, to kind of get to that place where you're like, okay, one foot in front of the other. Um, and then to be able to see something so cool, obviously the volcano and the sunset and the sunrise, 
Um, but then to also feel that joy of like descending and having done something really hard. This was our first like overnight um, backpacking trip. So I think we felt just this elation at the end um, after such like a long and challenging uh, experience that we had just had. Um, the ending was definitely very yeah joyous and we felt good. We hope you enjoyed our recap of our experience of a lifetime. Acatetango, Acatetango, Ken Acatetango, Ate Acatenango. Okay, don't go down your legs. So it. Our base cam. So take take five. Let me just restart. No. Drink your electrolytes, honey. <laughs> we don't want you to cram up. Would I do it again? Would you do it again?